Did you know there are eight main ways that red light therapy can benefit eye health and help you save your sight? Dr. Andy Rosenfarm, I want to talk to you today about red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, which is a treatment that uses red light therapy and red light frequencies, obviously, to help promote healing and improve ocular cell function. Now, when applied to the eyes, red light therapy has been studied for its potential benefits improving eye health through several mechanisms, eight to be exact. I want to go over those mechanisms with you right now so that you can better understand how and why red light therapy can help save your sight. The first benefit is improved mitochondrial function. Now, with this, red light therapy stimulates the mitochondria in the cells, which are the energy powerhouse in the body. If you remember conversations about mitochondrial function, they produce a chemical called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is critical for cell repair and cell regeneration. In the eye specifically, this increased mitochondrial activity helps enhance cellular energy production, which can support the repair and regeneration of damaged retinal cells and other structures in the eye. So it helps both the nerve cells, the rods, cones, and glial cells in the retina and optic nerve, it also will help the vascular system and all the other structures to repair and regenerate. The second factor is that red light therapy can help reduce inflammation and including the delicate structures of the eye. We know that the nerve layer and the vascular layer of the eyes are very fragile, very delicate. Where inflammatory processes in the eye can contribute to conditions like dry macular degeneration, wet macular degeneration, geographic atrophy, macular holes, a whole host of, of macular dis dysfunctions. It can also help retinal conditions like diabetic retinopathy, Usher syndrome, retinitis pigmentosa, rod cone dystrophy, and a whole host of other retinal conditions. Also, it can help the optic nerve. Conditions like optic nerve atrophy, glaucoma, optic neuritis, and so on. So we know it has a spectrum of helping a host of macular conditions, retinal conditions, and optic nerve conditions. By reducing the inflammation, red light therapy can prevent or mitigate the process of by which inflammation can accelerate progressive vision loss. The third main factor is that we know that red light therapy also can help improve blood circulation and blood flow to the retina and to the optic nerve. So the application of red light therapy can significantly help improve blood flow to the retina and the optic nerve as well as the various ocular tissues. Increased circulation ensures a better oxygen supply to the retina and you should know by now that retina is the highest oxygen consuming tissue in the whole body. That's right, the whole visual system, which includes the retina, the eye, the optic nerve and the brain requires more oxygen than any other part of the body. So making sure that the eye has sufficient oxygen delivery to the, the ocular system, not only the eye, but the optic nerve, optic nerve and brain is very, very important for overall health of the eye. So keeping blood flow to the eye is critical so that these structures and cells of the eyes simply don't suffocate and they don't starve, right? It's really important. The fourth main factor is for retinal and optic nerve health and protection. So some studies have already suggested that red light therapy may have protective effects on the retina, optic nerve, and macula. By stimulating the retinal cells, it can help delay the effects of conditions like macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, glaucoma, optic nerve atrophy, Stargardt's, so on and so forth. By reducing the oxidative stress load, again, because we're helping the chondria and we're helping improve blood flow and we're helping control inflammation, these factors are all gonna control free radical exposure to the eye, which we know those are very, very stressful. Those molecules can really beat up the retinal cells. So really, really important. We also know with cellular pr protection, it's important to help with things like eye strokes. So not only in terms of prevention, if that's something that you're susceptible to, maybe you've had some mini eye strokes, but if you've already had eye stroke, it will significantly help with recovery, whether it's retinal eye stroke or optic nerve eye stroke. There also is a major potential, the fifth factor here I want to talk about, I want to forget about this, is there's a major potential for healing dry eye syndrome, right? This is one of the main 
areas that red light therapy has been used in optometric and ophthalmic practices, where red light therapy has been shown to improve tear production in people with dry syndrome. It's also used for meibomian gland dysfunctions where the oil secretion from the eyes can be impaired as well. So by stimulating the meibomian glands in the eyelids, which produce the oil layer of the tears, remember we have three parts to tears. We have the oil layer, we have the mucus layer, and we have the water layer. So this produces the tear film. So the red light therapy can help alleviate symptoms of dry eye, making it as a viable treatment for people dealing with dry eye. So uh, added benefit for that. Reduction in eye strain. So a lot of us spend a lot of time on screens, uh, our phones, laptop, desktop, so on and so forth. So regular use of red light therapy has been shown to possibly help reduce eye strain caused by extended screen time. It's thought that therapy could alleviate eye fatigue in the eye muscles and, and, and contribute to overall reduction of, of strain of the eye muscles. Number seven is really interesting. This might, not, this might be new to you, is that red light therapy actually stimulates collagen production. And we know that because it's really effective as an anti-aging for the skin. So red light therapy can stimulate the production of collagen, which is important for maintaining structural integrity of the eye tissues, including the cornea and the lens. Collagen also helps in wound healing, maintaining health of these tissues. So it's useful for post-cataract surgery, if you've had LASIK surgery, uh, some other eye procedure, glaucoma procedure, maybe, again, retinal detachments or something like that, or retinal tears. Uh, any eye procedure you have done, this will help accelerate the recovery. Uh, so really, really important as well. And again, want to mention that helping the recovery of things like eye strokes, whether it's optic nerve or retinal, really useful for that. And finally, there is a enormous neuroprotective mechanism by which the red light therapy uh, can have a neuroprotective effect, of course, potentially helping conditions uh, that affect the retina, the macula, and the optic nerve. Again, talking about conditions like RP, macular degeneration, glaucoma, and any of these neurodegenerative conditions where the optic nerve and the retina and the macula need protection. Right? Um, the therapy may protect the cells from degeneration. We're not 100% sure, but there is new research showing that is a possibility by the protecting the scales. We're really protecting the scales from things like oxidative stress, inflammation, uh, insufficient oxygen, all the factors we just talked about.